All right, the moment of truth. Since we are so eager to talk about Tua, here we go. Shake, you go first on this. I, ha- I had to save Tua yeah, for last right, because no I know this is gonna this is gonna go off probably for the, the, the next twenty minutes, and I would like to end this part of the next twenty minutes. But uh, Tua Tago Viola, mm-hmm. the two thousand twenty fifth <laughs> overall pick for the Miami Dolphins, uh, had some adversity. Was benched two times, once in Week Eleven against the Denver Broncos and uh, Week Sixteen against the Oakland. Ra- I mean, excuse me, the Las Vegas Raiders uh, for Ryan Fitzpatrick. Now. We all have mixed feelings about Tua, obviously. Uh, 2020, he threw for 1,814 yards, 11 touchdowns, and five interceptions. Shake, you have the floor. Uh, next. <laughs> you said next? No, um, <laughs> no I, I, I like uh, – I don't know. I, I'm, I believe in Tua, but uh, I, I agree with you. Um, this year, it, it's uh, – the training wheels are off, and I think that – who has everything that he needs um, around him. So uh, we're going to see him, uh, the real him. And if he doesn't produce, then it's on him. And and, and that's pretty much it. it yeah, just to uh, piggyback on it, that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Shane. This year, is it's going to be his, uh, I agree, his make or break year because, again, he has his weapons. He has a famili- familiarity coaching, you know what I mean? So – uh, they gave him everything possible to try to succeed. So I, I, I agree it's a make or break year. The difference but, between Tua and Jalen Hurts is that Tua actually has a team and at least a much better team than the Eagles. So I, I feel that he doesn't have an excuse to be bad. Like he has to – a lot of those games last year, he was the reason why they lost because he couldn't get in the end zone. Some of those games, at least two of those games. So he has to play better. Um, if he doesn't, then I think the Dolphins should, you know, look elsewhere for a quarterback. I mean, look, the table is set. I mean, I, I don't I, – I think any NFL quarterback would, wouldn't would mind, you know, having some of these weapons he's got this year. Uh, mm. And, you know, the head coaching, all that type of stuff. I, I will say this much, though. I think Brian Flores is definitely the type of coach – I know a lot of people say, oh, you can't – you can't take the quarterback. You can't bench the co. You can't bench a quarterback. But Brian Flores clearly does not care about, uh, you know, the whole breaking the quarterback psyche or all that. He just looks at everybody as a football player. So mm. you ain't you ain't getting the job done. You know what I mean? You gonna you gonna take a seat. Um, yeah. That being said, look, the table is set for him to be successful. All he has to do is play his role. That's all he's got to do. Now, do I have? Do we have enough evidence to say that if the table is set? Tua can play his role. I think we do. I think I think we've seen several times where the table, particularly when he is in college, the table set for him. He's you know he took advantage of it. Um, but it you know make or break, sure, because if with you know Will Fuller and Waddle, I will say with an improved offensive line, maybe probably you know offensive uh, addition by subtraction. In my opinion, with the offensive line. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little more you know, offensive consistency, considering that he knows the coordinators from last year. Actually has a, an offseason with the playbook. Um, kind of going back to um, the point earlier about we were talking about the knee injury, where like it takes a year to come back, but it takes a year and a half to be back normal. Right. I think, I think you know, the, the, the table is set for him to have a good year. And I think he will have – I think he'll have a very good year. And one encouraging thing I saw last year was the fact that you know, some people may say he was – careful to a fault but if you don't turn the ball over you can always have a chance to win so if you can just get a little bit more consistency in the red zone and keep doing what he's what he was doing last year in terms of you know just being a, a good safe keeper of the ball hey man there's there's no reason why he shouldn't be successful he can't like there's 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 there is not a a defined excuse for him to point at if he's not successful this year so he's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to do something. What's up, Quinte? Are you pondering over there? <laughs> oh man, let me see. Let me where can I start? <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, I feel as though he did do things good last year. I can't take that away from the young guy. He did do some things good last year. Well, you know what I liked when I saw what he what he did this all season? He held himself accountable for the mm. stuff he didn't know. Where he effed right. up, where he shortcomings. Right. 
and he didn't throw nobody under the bus like everybody else do. <laughs> I want to throw Chan Gailey under the bus. He could have. No, he couldn't have. He could have. Some... No, he couldn't have. Yes, he could have. No, he couldn't have. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Let me say this. Let me say this to you, Habit. I, I started a job. I supposed to be supposed to be the golden boy, and they said, "Well, you already know what to do, so go out there and do it." Right? They might have a different game plan or whatever how they do things at different places, right? So if I f up, I gotta own up to what I did, what I, I what I did wrong. Not mm-hmm. well, this person that tell me to do this, this, this. No, it doesn't. Real life doesn't work like that, bro. You gotta hold yourself accountable. You're you're a grown man now. You're not a kid. You're a grown mm-hmm. man now. You gotta hold mm-hmm. yourself accountable, and I like that. That's leader. Because mm-hmm. I don't like all that. The saying Chan Gady was a bad. No, he wasn't. The dude, he said I did not know the playbook. <laughs> well, he, he said it. He said it out his. Out his well, he mouth. didn't say he didn't know the playbook but, outright. He, he dude, didn't know the playbook good. You can sugarcoat it however you want to sugarcoat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sugarcoating you it. You just put words in his mouth. That's all I'm saying. You put words in his mouth. That's all I'm saying. That's not right. It, right? You're, putting words, you're putting words in the man's mouth. But he, like, that's what he meant, though. That's how you get people not put words in words in the man's mouth. You put no, one but that's sugar coating. That's sugar coating. It stop sugar coating. No, it is not. No, I'm gonna no, say this. Too. No, no, the man the same. This is what I don't like about some dolphin fans. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, oh, like that's why. That's why I don't like about other dolphin fans. They said Kenny Hill was trash, oh. and they don't want to say nothing about him. <laughs> that's what kills me. It kills me. It really kills me. <laughs> it kills the hell out of me. No, the difference it, it between Tannehill and, 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 and two are two different things. I, I did not say the man was sorry or trash or anything. I'm saying what he said. You say I'm putting words in his mouth. I am simplifying he didn't know the what he said. Well, he said you he said, said he say didn't this. know the paperwork at all. Still say you not. Did he not still? He said I did not know. Right? He said I did not know before. He said not well. He said I did not know. Good enough. Oh man. When you get caught cheating, you don't say it was you, huh? You shaggy. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you say. Nah, for the bay. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't hear what you say. Nah, for the bay. Fire!